Welcome to the fascinating world of innate immunity, the body's first line of defense against microbial invaders. This rapid and nonspecific response is crucial for controlling infections before they escalate. Today, we'll delve into the key mechanisms and components of this essential system. Remember, innate immunity doesn't require prior exposure to a pathogen. Phagocytosis is a cornerstone of innate immunity. Cells like macrophages and neutrophils engulf and destroy pathogens. This process begins with recognition. These phagocytes express receptors that recognize conserved microbial structures called pathogen-associated molecular patterns, or PAMPs, Dr. Sharma explained in a voiceover. Examples include lipopolysaccharide, or LPS, found in gram-negative bacteria, and peptidoglycan, common in bacterial cell walls. Natural killer cells are lymphocytes that can recognize and kill infected or cancerous cells. Unlike T-cells, they don't require prior sensitization. Doctor, Sharma explained that NK cells possess activating and inhibitory receptors. She said, if the inhibitory signals are reduced, for example, due to downregulation of MHC class I molecules on infected cells, or if activating signals are dominant, the NK cell releases cytotoxic granules, inducing apoptosis in the target cell. Interferons are cytokines produced by cells in response to viral infection. They play a crucial role in antiviral defense. Type 1 interferons, such as interferon alpha and interferon beta, induce an antiviral state in neighboring cells, inhibiting viral replication. They also activate immune cells like NK cells and macrophages, Dr. Sharma explained. The complement system is a cascade of proteins that enhances the ability of antibodies and phagocytic cells to clear microbes and damaged cells. Complement activation can occur through three pathways, the classical pathway, the alternative pathway, and the lectin pathway. Dr. Sharma explained that all three converge on the cleavage of C3, leading to opsonization, inflammation, and direct lysis of pathogens. Inflammation is a critical component of the innate immune response, characterized by redness, swelling, heat, and pain. Dr. Sharma explained, inflammatory cytokines, such as TNF-alpha and IL-1, are produced by macrophages and other immune cells. These cytokines increase vascular permeability, recruit immune cells to the site of infection, and activate the acute phase response. In summary, the innate immune system employs a diverse array of mechanisms to protect the body from infection, phagocytosis, NK cells, interferons, the complement system, and inflammation all work together to rapidly detect and eliminate pathogens, Dr. Sharma explained. Understanding these mechanisms, 